Welcome, to our latest video. This time, we're building the iconic, F4U, Corsair. We're going to start by first tracing the fuselage onto our can, material, and then cutting it out. Let's watch and see how this is done. Make sure to cut out the slits at the rear, of the fuselage piece. The horizontal stabilizer will fit into these slots, in later steps. Also, make sure to cut out the midpoint glue tabs, for the fuselage. These will be used to glue the fuselage on a slight overlap, giving it the classic shape, that the Corsair has. Score, and slightly fold the fuselage glue tabs, as shown. Roll the fuselage as shown, using a wooden dowel, or other similar tool. Also, make sure to score the wing position lines on the fuselage, as shown here. This will help us guide the wings, into position, in later steps. Glue the forward, fuselage tabs first. Then glue the rear fuselage dorsal tab. Save the midpoint fuselage tabs for last. You'll also need a good rounding tool, as you'll need to do, a fair amount of rounding, to achieve the Corsair's unique fuselage shape. Go ahead and glue the midpoint glue tabs now, as shown here. The more, reinforcing you do, the stronger, and more durable, the model will be. Another good practice, is to reinforce the inside surface of the fuselage, especially around fuselage joints, as this model has. Between the rounding, and reinforcing, the Corsair's unique fuselage, will begin to take shape. As you can see, reinforcing the fuselage can take a bit of time, but it's worth it in the end. Shaping the fuselage is just another integral part, of building soda can, airplanes. Also, do not underestimate the need, for rounding your fuselage as well. Rounding goes a long way, towards creating a realistic looking fuselage, especially on aircraft like the iconic Corsair.
Next, we're ready to move on to the control surfaces, such as the horizontal stabilizer, and the vertical tail. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know that we'll need a top and bottom piece out of can, plus an additional piece out of craft foam, to create each of these tail pieces. We'll also need some additional can, or aluminum sheeting, to reinforce the inside surface of each piece. Let's watch, and see how this is done. If you're curious as to why we use, a combination of foam and sheeting, here's why. Airplane control surfaces, are some of the strongest, and most precise pieces on an actual aircraft. On CAN, models, we think they should look, just as sturdy, and just as flight ready. The combination, of foam, and sheeting accomplishes this. First, we glue the sheeting to the inside surface of the can. Then we glue the foam piece over the sheeting. Finally, we glue the remaining can piece over top of the foam. Again, let's watch how this is done. Next, we trim off, any foam edges that might be visible. Now, we get the fuselage, ready for the tail pieces. First, we'll need to trim the slots at the rear of the fuselage, to fit the horizontal stabilizers. Notice how we also check to make sure, the piece is straight and level. Next, we get the vertical tail ready to sit on the top of the fuselage. As soon as everything looks good, we're ready to install the pieces. To affix the stabilizer, we'll form what we call, L, brackets. We'll glue these brackets to the inside rear of the fuselage. This will create a sturdy gluing surface. Watch how this is done. Notice how easily the piece slides over the brackets. We trim the brackets off at an angle, then test fit again. Next, we dab glue onto the underside of the brackets, and glue the piece, into position. Now, we close off the rear of the fuselage, behind the piece. Again, some of our craft foam handles this easily.
Next, we get the top of the fuselage ready for the vertical tail. Slow the video speed down to 0.25 in the YouTube video settings to see this in real time. Finally, we glue the vertical tail into position. Perfect, now let's move on to the wings. As you know, the Corsair has a unique gull-shaped pair of wings. Now, watch and see how we replicate them. First, we cut the wing out of our can, material. Next, we fold it precisely down the middle. Notice how we bend the glue tabs up? This will help to create the unique gull shape. Now it's time, to reinforce, the inside surface of the wing. We'll use can, for this. We'll start, by cutting the reinforcing can, material, so it fits just inside the edges of the wing piece. We trim the piece as needed. And then, we glue it into position, on the inside surface of the wing. Next, we reinforce the opposite side of the wing. And, we glue the reinforcing piece into position. Next, we reinforce the smaller section, that will form the gull wing shape. Now, we give the wing a slight bend to help form it into position. And now we trace and cut out the foam piece, to give our wing some added depth, and definition. We trim off any excess foam, until the piece is flush with the can, edges. We do some final trimming of the foam, as needed. Finally, we dab glue onto the foam surface, and glue the two halves of the wing together. Then, we give the wing a slight bend to curve it into shape. And then glue the smaller section of the wing, forming it into that classic Corsair bent wing. Now, we repeat the same process to create the remaining wing. Again, you can slow the YouTube video settings down to 0.25, to watch this in real time. Let's watch our builder create the other wing. We make sure to bend the glue tab here, as we did with the other wing. And, the goal wing tabs, as well.
Next, we reinforce the wing. And, now we reinforce, the opposite side of the remaining wing. We bend it into shape, as we did with the previous wing. And now, we add the craft foam. We trim, as needed. Then, we glue it into position. And finally, we form, and glue the wing together. Now, we're nearly ready to install our wings. First, we add an upper gluing surface, by adding a second glue tab. We bend them at a 90 degree angle, same as the other tabs. Now, we're ready to install the wings. Watch as we test fit the first one. We start by trimming the foam edges. We mark the final position with an ultra, fine point marker. And then, we glue the wing into position on the fuselage. Got it! Now, the remaining wing. Finally, our wings are in place, with that trademark, gull wing shape. Next, we move on to the engine cowling and the propeller. We start by tracing the main cowling piece, and then we'll also need a nose disc and a smaller cowling piece. Notice, we've opted for a 3D, printed propeller, and spinner. We printed it out on our trusty Ender 3. Next, we trace and cut out a top and bottom piece for our nose disc. We also trace, and cut out some discs, to reinforce the first ones we cut out. Now, we glue them to the inside surface of each disc. And then we glue the two disc halves together. We add a final piece, just for good measure. Next, we use our punch tool, to press a hole in the center of the disc. We'll use it for the hardware to make our propeller spin. 
we score, and fold the glue tab for the main cowling piece. Then we roll, and glue along the tab. Next, we fold in all of the glue tabs on the nose of the piece. Now, we glue the nose disc over the tabs. We trim the disc as needed, then test fit the assembly over the main fuselage. The next piece, we'll trace and cut out is the smaller cowling piece. Again, we score, and fold the blue tab. Then we roll the piece, and glue on the tab. Before we glue it to the front of the main cowling, we'll need to cut out a thin piece of foam, to help it affix easier. We trim the foam piece, then glue it to the inside surface of the smaller cowling piece. We trim the pieces as needed, then finally, we test fit, then glue the cowling pieces together. See how easy that went together. Now we're ready for the hardware and our 3D printed propeller. To mount the propeller, we'll stick a screw eye through the inside opening, then screw it to the back side of the propeller. We trim the smaller cowling piece so our propeller spins freely. And, it spins. Awesome! Before gluing the cowling assembly to the fuselage, we do some final trimming to make certain our propeller spins freely. Once our artist is happy with the propeller, we glue the cowling into position. Now, we're ready to move on to the all-important canopy construction. For the canopy on the Corsair, our artist is opting to use clear vinyl. We could have done a plain silver can, canopy, but that would be lazy after all the work we put into this model. We first trace the canopy onto the vinyl, and now we trace it onto can. Now, our artist will painstakingly cut out the windows on the can, piece. Using this method, is a little more time consuming, but when completed, the results will speak for themselves. Once all of the windows have been cut out, we use our scissors to cut out the rest of the piece. Next, we cut the corresponding piece out of our clear vinyl.
we test fit the can, piece, over the clear vinyl. Finally, we glue the can, piece, over top of the vinyl. Now, we trim the excess vinyl. And then, we roll the canopy into shape. We trim the vinyl out of the glue tabs. Finally, we glue along the glue tabs to form the piece. And then, we give it a good rounding to really form it into shape. Next, we test fit it onto our model. At this point, we need to align it so it's straight, down the body of the fuselage. We give it a final rounding, then we glue a small piece of craft foam to the underside, so it adheres to the fuselage better. We test fit it one last time, then glue it into position. And it's on, and it looks great. Next, we'll add some custom can, decals, to give our model some added detail. We'll use only the solid color areas of some blue and white Pepsi cans, and we'll trace our template parts onto them. Let's watch and see how this is done without the need for traditional decals, or stickers. While this process can be time-consuming, in our experience, going the extra added mile, can be the difference between an award-winning model or just another soda can, airplane. With five international, plastic, modelers, society awards under our belt, we'll opt for the extra detail, every time. We're going to make a total of two fuselage insignias, and one wing insignia for our model. Let's watch our artist craft these out of Pepsi Cherry, and Diet Pepsi, caffeine-free cans. Two down, and one to go.
Now that we've completed all three of our can insignias, we're ready to glue them on our wing and fuselage. Let's watch our artist complete this step. And, all of the insignias are in place. Amazing what a little elbow grease does for these soda can, models. And, we're finished. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, and hit the subscribe button. See you next time.